my torch advisor, any of you that have ever been taught by me will know how much I love history. It's a passion of mine and something I've researched into a lot. One of the things that helps when you're researching history is having primary evidence. This means that it's a first-hand account or someone who was living at the time witnessed something and either created a picture, wrote a letter or wrote a diary. Diaries are really helpful and I've taught historians lots about things that have happened. Samuel Pepys wrote a diary and from that we learned a lot about the Great Fire of London. Another diary that's quite famous is that of Anne Frank. Anne Frank was living through Nazi occupation at the time in her country and was only 12. She wrote this diary thinking that no one would be interested in it and in fact felt quite foolish for doing it. But she found it was a great source to let out her emotions and things that were happening at the time. This diary is so famous and has taught a lot of historians about Nazi occupation at the time and is something that without we wouldn't know as much. So my challenge to you is to create a diary of your time at the moment. Things are unusual, things are strange and we all feel a little bit confused. And sometimes writing a diary is a great way, not only to keep a historical record of the event, but to explain how you're feeling. Like Anne, if you're not comfortable writing Dear Diary because it feels a bit alien, write it to a friend. She wrote hers to her dearest Kitty, which was a name she made up for her diary. I'm thinking of writing a diary to Appleston class that hopefully one day I'll be able to share with them. You could even, once written your diary, hide it somewhere safe and you can share it with future generations and it can be a real primary source. So, I hope you're well and keeping safe and I look forward to seeing any creations of diaries in the future.